Hello, and welcome back to Rob's PC Workshop. Today we're going to be observing web requests. Um, step one, we're going to verify connectivity to the web server. We're going to open up our external client, and we're going to go ahead and ping ciscolearn.web.com. Going to go ahead and ping the IP address 172.168.15.200. And we lost a packet because it was loading up, and it, that's what it does. I'll go ahead and do it again to show you that it's connected correctly. Okay. From there, from the desktop window, we're going to access the web browser. So we're going to go back to the desktop. We're going to type in the Cisco Um, and as you can see, we've connected to the the server. So we're gonna view the HTML code. Click the server. Click the config tab. HTTP. And now we're going to compare the code with our web browser and make sure that we are seeing the same thing. Welcome to the Cisco Learn Web Center. Centered, font size, color blue. Oh my goodness, it's centered, font size, color blue. We have a header. Um, learn about the web uh, client server interaction and so as you can see everything is the same so we know that that's where we accessed okay now we're going to observe the traffic between the client and web server we're going to enter the simulation mode Um, so supposedly I'm supposed to be able to double click the simulation panel to unlock it from the PT window. I've never been able to figure that out. So <clears throat> Now we're going to create a complex PDU. We're going to select edit filters from the simulation panel. TCP and HTTP are connected at a complex PDU by clicking the open envelope. Click the external client to specify it as the source. Uh, now we're going to click the server to specify it as the destination. Now we're going to edit. <coughs> inside our create complex PDU settings. We're going to under PDU settings select application make sure it's set to HTTP. For the source port we're going to type in a 1000. Um, under the simulation settings we're going to select periodic interval and type 120 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and create that PDU. <coughs> Now we're going to observe the flow of traffic by clicking the auto capture button. And then we're going to speed up the process.
I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it uh, sends packets. As you can see, it's sending packets over here across our network. Back and forth, the packets go. As we can see, packets are still being sent. I'm going to pause the video again, and once they're done, we'll uh, see what we've done. All right, uh, the maximum number of packets have been sent, so now we're going to go ahead and scroll through our list, our event list, and uh, notice the number of packets that traveled from the source destination. HTTP is a TCP protocol which requires connection establishment and acknowledge acknowledgement of receipt of packets, considerably increasing the amount of traffic overhead. So, as you can see, we've sent quite a few packets over a very short amount of time. So that's um, that all the packets sent. I uh, hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day.